I first met Kate Dumillo because I was at a school in Harlem. The National Book Foundation sent me to that school for a week to talk to every kid in the school practically. And while I was there, they said, we want to give you a present because we think this is the best book of the year. And they gave me because of Wind Dixie. Oh, you never told me that. I've never oh, told you that. Oh, no, no. I went, I went home and read because of Wind Dixie, and I thought, this is my sister. <laughs> there, there are certain writers, you know, that you admire extravagantly, but you're not kin to. And I read because of Wind Dixie, and I, I don't want to insult you, but I felt this enormous kinship. To Why you would as that a insult me? It makes me, it makes me cry. <laughs> yeah. Can but, you imagine? But uh, uh, and Wind Dixie is one of the few books that I have read, maybe four times. Really. Uh, because it's so perfectly what it is. Uh, the tone is absolutely right all the way through. That it matters to me that you're saying that not only as a writer but as a Southerner. It matters yeah. to me oh, so yeah. much. And, that because, I and one thing that meant so much to me was the betrayal of the father. Because having a father as a minister, I get very touchy about people writing about ministers in books because usually they're villains. Yeah, no, he wasn't a fan. And he wasn't. He was a lovely, lovely man struggling in a terrible situation. And yet he managed to love his daughter properly. I'm going to cry. That's enough I'm of her cry. talking about that. Let's I'm gonna, move on. I'm going to cry yeah. talking yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> about Can you imagine? Uh. Can you imagine? I, I, when I worked at the book warehouse, um, this is who I read and studied was Catherine Patterson. And to have her say something like that, uh, I think our work here is done. <laughs>